Hey guys, what's up? So let's go ahead and deploy our application to Netlify. So since this is a React application, we are actually going to need to configure a lot of things to make sure that it's running properly on Netlify. So one of the first thing we are going to need to do is push this code to GitHub. So I know that at this point we've been writing code very fast, we have not cleaned up. So what you're gonna do is push it to GitHub and then go through actually the things that you would face regardless of the state of your application. So I'm going to push this code to GitHub. I'm not sure if I even have a repository in GitHub. So let me go to GitHub and create a repository. So I'm gonna call this application truly contacts YouTube. And I call it YouTube just so you guys can easily find it if you're looking for the source code. So anyway, we go ahead and create the repository. So once we do, we can push to it. So in here, we can add all our changes. So we can git add dot, and then we can git commit minus m. So we can have add, we can have like code, add source code. Okay, so then we can create a readme, we commit it, and then we push to GitHub. So once it's done pushing to GitHub, we can come over here and reload. We should have the, the source code, but one of the mistakes we just made is that we have pushed the .env. So we can remove the .env, so we will create a .gitignore. So in the .gitignore, we can have a .env, and then we need to remove the dot m from git so you can do that so git rm cached then dot m so that's going to remove it from git and now we need to commit this so git add dot then i'm going to use the same commit like i used earlier and i'm going to push that and of course this does not entirely remove it from the the git history you can actually tra trace it back and find it but what I'm gonna do is for the credentials that we have on Firebase, of course, this was used for learning purposes. I'm going to be archiving the project anyway. So when we come here, you can see that it's gone. So now if you go to Netlify here, uh, we can say we want to log in with GitHub. So it's gonna go ahead and log in to GitHub. So you want to click on new site from Git, then you want to choose GitHub or wherever your application is hosted. If you're using GitLab, that's fine. So once this project chooser comes up, we can choose our project. So this one's called Truly Contacts YouTube, so we can easily search for it here. So we can search here. So when it finds the project, you want to click on the project. Then it's going to ask which, which branches you want to deploy and the build command and the publish directory. So right now, if we go to our package.json, we want, we want to make sure we have this build command and it should be building to the build directory. So since it's React, we will have it by default and it's gonna be building to build the build directory. But if you somehow change that, you want to make sure that the, the build directory matches with what where your build will be building to. Okay, so right now we could go ahead and say deploy site. So it's gonna go ahead and try deploying and I'm going to be showing you the problems we run into one by one. But one of the first things you're going to need to do is set up the environment variables to be available in Netlify. So you do that by going to settings and then you go to build deploy Then you click on environment. So you want to go in and edit environment. So we need to make sure that everything we have in our .env is available there. So it's gonna be the React base URL like this. Then we have the value. So I'm gonna go ahead and Make sure I make, I make the one I make these ones available. So let's have the last one. Have this. Then this. And then we can go ahead and save. Go to deploys. Yeah. So you're going to see that the deploy failed. So if you go to deploys, yeah. So you click on where the field, where you see failed. And in the logs, you can start it failed because our application has some warnings and logs. So what you do if you want to fix this, and of course the best way would be to go and clean up everything. But I just want to show you all parts of the puzzle. So if you ever get something like this, you can actually disable the CI when we are building, go to settings and to 
build deploy then environment and set it to false so new environment ci set it to false then save so once we do that we're going to need to re trigger the deploy and we go back to the deploys so let's retry this deploy here so this one that failed we can trigger deploy then we click clear cache and deploy site that's going to go ahead and try redeploying it again so it's going to go ahead and do the build so it's going to go ahead and now it's running netlify build now it's, it's building so let's hope that this this phase passes because last time it failed because of the warnings but let's hope that setting ci to false will make it pass so we see that the build is complete meaning that everything was successfully built we didn't get the other error so now it's saying that the site is live so we can click preview and yeah it's gonna go ahead and bring up our application so for us to check if our environment variables are loaded we can try to log in here oh yeah so i i understand that our backend cores policy might not allowing netlify but if that's the case then you can add this to your backend uh, so we have an error here so if we can inspect this let's go to network this should be an error we get when we can't connect to the backend so we need to be adding this domain so you see we can't connect to the backend but you can see that our environment variables are being picked and we have our url here i'm going to make sure that as you guys are, are using the same api if you're deploying to netlify i'm going to make sure on, on the server i accept all subdomains that comes from notify just so you guys can have a an access so i believe this is the this is how you can do it to deploy to netify so there is one more problem i want to show you for example now if yeah for example if i click register you see it opens up but when i reload like here you see we get site not found and the problem with that is because this is a single page application so we need to set up a redirects rule to enable us to enable netify to know how to handle and redirect all pages so here on the on the build we want to make sure that the build folder that gets built we inject we add there a redirect rule so we are, i'm gonna bring in this so this will mean that when we build we also want to create a file called redirect so and in there we want to put index html then 200 so this is gonna so here we will be targeting all the routes that are not index.html and then we want to be returning 200 and not 404 so that's going to make sure that we don't get this error when someone reloads so let me push this so git push ah so git we need to add it and then push it uh, let me push it now so once it's available we can re-trigger the deploy so i can come here and then come over here and then retry deploy so i'm gonna deploy site let me clear cache and deploy site okay so it's gonna go ahead and start deploying this one because we have already made the change so let's wait for the deploy to finish and then we see if it, it fixed our issue of this 404 page not found so you can see that now it's building and then after it's going to create this underscore redirect and then it's going to in it add this one so let's wait for it so it's compiled and yeah site is live so now if i click on preview you can see that it shows up i can go to login and now if i reload on i can go to register and now if i reload across different pages so i can come here reload and it's working fine so i'll be pausing the video here if it helped you consider giving it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching